Well, guys, Cam Newton is back, but how effective will he be? Cam is coming off shoulder surgery in the offseason, and yesterday Ron Rivera said he will be on a pitch count as he works his way back. The coach was also asked about the arm strength of his star quarterback. Take a listen. Ron, what about length? How far down the field will he be able to throw? Will he be able to throw all out? Well, we'll see. Uh, again, we believe he's ready to roll. He, he had a good offseason. Uh, he had a good break from what we're being told. And um, again, you, you know, the proof will be in the pudding. We'll, we'll get to see tomorrow exactly. All right, Shannon, what do you expect from Cam this season? I expect him to have a bounce back season. There was no question in my mind that Cam was injured last year. Mm -hmm. Hence the uh, surg offseason surgery confirmed that. Mm -hmm. um, this would be a second year on the North, North Turner. But Skip, he completed 68% of his passes, which was 8% better point than any point in his career. He had the uh, highest touchdown, highest yards per attempt, fewest interceptions since his MVP season. And now this will be his second year under Noor. Uh, I think what also will help Cam is that having a running back like Christian McCaffrey that he could dump the ball off to, hopefully Greg Olson can come back healthy. And so Cam doesn't have to take those unnecessary hits. I believe Cam will bounce back. I believe we'll see the Cam Newton. He had a couple of games last year, 350 yards against the Lions, 335 and a win against, uh, against the Falcons. So we know what Cam Newton is capable of. He can run it. He can throw it. He just have to be smart, know when the journey's over, Skip. He can't take those unnecessary hits because he takes, he takes shots that you don't even want your running back to take, That's let alone your quarterback. Yep. <sighs> I'm going to give Cam Newton... A break and a pass today and I'm gonna go with what you just said but I am quite a bit more skeptical than you are okay because when you say bounce back bounce back to what because MVP the truth life. is the truth is since 2015 MVP since that Denver debacle in the Super Bowl <laughs> and and that team did that to a lot of people yeah. including Tom Brady <laughs> but Cam did not have his best day against no. Von Miller and he didn't have his best post game when he, again, I had no problem with that, but it, it left a bad taste in everyone's mouth through that off season right. after he had been the MVP. Over the last three seasons, he's tied for first in interceptions with 43 total over the last three. His QBRs over the last three seasons average 51, which is highly average because it's right in the middle, zero to 100. Correct. So he's had three by his MVP standards, very mediocre years, mm -hmm. three of them in a row. Now, to your point, he was definitely hurt last year because he couldn't throw it 15 yards right. down the field, right. and the defenses knew, knew it, it by about midseason. Yep. And it was hard on him. And I thought Norv could be good for him, and maybe to your points, he was. I thought Christian McCaffrey would just change his life, and maybe he will now that Cam's a little healthier, if right. not a lot. But to your point, this man has taken a pounding. This man, what, what do we say he weighs? 255? Well, he's lost weight. Uh, at, he was up there know. pretty high. He was maybe in the 260s at okay. one point. Oh, all right. He's down. I mean, he's gone all vegan now, Skip. Um, he, uh, okay. So he's down about 245. Okay. He's all vegan now. Right? Yeah. <sighs> he's a big man. He he's is. a strong man. He's a tough man. But after a while in this league, to your point, if you keep taking those shots, Make at it. some point, you, you have a finite number of those right. shots you can withstand. You get punched drunk. Okay, you do. It's like it happened to our guy Skip Mike Mike Vick. He just took. It, he just got beat up, and he's a much smaller man he's a than much Cam. Smaller man. But after a while, it just and it seems like every time he would take a hit, Mike would grab his head and he would miss the next game. Okay, so Cam's starting quarterback record over the last three years is twenty three and twenty one, which is why Marty Herney, the GM of the Carolina Panthers, said on draft day, second day. I'm going to take this kid named Will Greer. Right. And, and you know what I thought of Will Greer? I thought he was the second best quarterback in the whole draft. And I mm -hmm. thought they stole him in the third round. And he's from the Charlotte area. Yes. So he's looked at as a local sort of kid. Mm -hmm. And all I know for a fact is this is a pivotal year for Cam yeah. Newton. He needs to bounce way back. Yeah. He needs to have a big year. Because I think he's starting to be on a hot seat there. Yeah. Where if, if you well, have you another take media. Yeah. Third. Third, third round. Yeah, 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 but, but you, they took, stole, but you he, took him high. Listen, he fell into their laps. And he's he's a mature kid. He's been married when he married he's all married, through yeah. college. All through most of college, most at least. Of college. Yeah, he's got a young 
child. Okay, he's got a young child, so he's a little more advanced. Mm -hmm. I, I thought he looked like a pro quarterback last year. He was West impressive Virginia. to be he around. Was, and his start, demeanor whoa. was impressive. You start taking these quarterbacks, and obviously you take a quarterback in the first round, you yeah. anticipate him playing, but you take a quarterback in second or third round. Yeah. Ask Tom Brady. Uh, they took Jimmy Garoppolo for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. Tom has proved them wrong. Like, look, I, I'm good. Mm -hmm. But you're not taking a quarterback with, like, it's not like it used to be, Skip. You can just yeah. stash the guy and you keep him for 10 years on the bench as a backup. Yeah. That's yeah. not happening anymore. You take a mm -hmm. quarterback in the first three rounds, yep. you're taking him with the anticipation of him playing within the next first three years. So, back to the Mike Sando article on quarterback breakdowns in The Athletic the other day that we talked and talked about. The anonymous quotes on Cam included one from a head coach, anonymously, who said, his leadership ability, he has not proven that to me. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I, I, I think he's grown a mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. I, I, that, that Super Bowl year, he was clearly the leader of that team. Mm -hmm. He needs to re you know, reassert himself mm -hmm. on and off the field right. as the the face of this franchise. Yeah. Is he capable? You better believe yeah. he's capable. I, I just think a couple of years, Skip, you know, Greg Olson missed most of the year with he that did. foot. No, it's He came back, played well, and he re-injured the foot again last year. I think if he can stay healthy, or uh, C. Mack can stay healthy, I think Cam is poised for a bounce-back season. Okay. I really do. I hope, for his sake, you are very right. Mm -hmm. I will Thank wait you. to see. <laughs> Oh, wait to see. I'd like mm -hmm. to see it as well. Uh, we do have to talk about Kawhi and the Clippers, what they're Why? about to do. Why? Are they about Why? to take Why? over L.A.? <laughs> Will Shannon be able to handle it? We'll discuss that with Chris Hay